Wow, it's finally spring. It's so beautiful. I think I should go out. Watch YouTube. Wait, this isn't YouTube. What the fuck? This game sucks. It doesn't even have guns. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. It's not supposed to be a shooter game. Yeah, um, don't ask me how this idea found its way into my head because I don't know myself, but apparently I'm now transforming this into this. Anyway, before I can give the dino weapons, I first need to make the actual game in 3D. I started out by making a system to spawn platforms because dino obviously needs something to run on. Second thing I did was add the actual dino. Uh, well, you can see the dino if you try to squint your eyes pretty hard, yeah, it's, see it's working. After that, I made it so it's actually first person and added movement so you can move to the left and right because I want it to be like one of those games. Um, yeah, very original, I know. Anyway, moving like this won't do it because I basically need my character to switch lanes fast by pressing A or D, not to go to a side slowly like this. Um, I'm not sure how to do that, so let's go ask my trusted companion for help. Yeah, I don't think that will work. I also made it so the character moves forward and platforms spawn as you move because that's the whole point of the game. Okay, so basic movement is done. I need to implement actual obstacles now. There's two types of obstacles in the dino game, the cacti and the birds. I'm not sure why the dino dies from hitting a bird because last time I checked, dinos used to eat birds, not the other way around. Anyway, I'm going to start with the cacti. Yeah, so I added cacti and now this happens and you would think that's unfair because you can't dodge all three of them at the same time, right? And yeah, it is pretty unfair, so let me introduce you to a new mechanic I added to the game, which is jumping! And now it's finally possible to survive more than 10 seconds into the game. Next thing I did was make the character speed up over time, so basically the dino starts at 5 meters per second and then it increases every second, so basically to give you an example, if you survive for like 5 minutes, you're as fast as a helicopter, which is, if you didn't know, pretty fast! Anyway, what do people remember when they think of helicopters? Yeah, it's birds, because uh, they like both fly and sh- Yeah, that's the next obstacle I added. Okay, so now I have to make a ducking mechanic, and no, not this duck, like duck when you do this, you know? And I thought it's a good idea to also make the dino slide instead of ducking, because uh, dinosaurs- Oh, um, dinosaurs actually didn't slide, oh shit. As you can see, sliding does its job, but it's kind of boring, so I made it look better. What the f- what is this? I should probably stop smoking weed. I mean, it looks cool, right? But uh, it's kind of unplayable. Okay, sliding is fixed, so back to the birds. They're kind of boring right now, so I made two types of them. One will spawn pretty low to the ground, and you just have to slide below them or dodge them. This is the more common type. Second one will spawn higher in the sky, but you might be wondering how are they going to affect your gameplay if you don't need to worry about running into them? Well, you see, they're not the danger. Their shit is the danger, they shit on the ground and if you run over their shit you slip and fall and can't get up. They don't call me the best game dev with the best ideas on this planet for nothing. I also made it so they drop their fat nukes on you while flying by because that looks more interesting. Now, of course, I could've just made the models and ended the whole game here because I think birds dropping shit alone deserves game of the year award. But that's probably not what you clicked on this video for, right? I happened to make the guns the main focus of the title. So of course. Let me deliver that to you. Now, what does the dino even need guns for, you might ask? Well, I think it's fair to make it so you can shoot the obstacles because I don't know what else it would need the guns for, okay? This game ain't a battle royale. Wait, that sounds like a good idea, actually. So I did some game developing off camera. <laughs> I'm joking, no, no, I'm not making no for the weapon model. Okay, yeah, functionality-wise, I kind of need to do a thing that I won't be able to do without actual models. Now, because I have school and loads of homework and tests and exams and all of that shit, I don't really have enough time to make my own models. I found this awesome pack on the marketplace for only $10 and you can see the gun in action here. I've tried making recoil animations, but exporting Blender into Unreal is so confusing, I didn't get it to work after wasting like 2 hours. So. I made the animations through code. Okay, update this was a bit too ambitious. Uh, yeah, it looks like the gun is held by this monkey. I know this isn't the best, but hey, this took me like a day, all right? I also added a crosshair so you can actually see where you're shooting. And I only have to make the gun actually useful because right now it's just there and you can't really do anything with it. I accidentally made a name trainer, so I implemented limited ammo. And look at that, it's actually good now because you have a maximum of 3 ammo and you get plus 1 every 5 seconds. I added some text so you can actually see how much ammo you have. I added a score and speed display things. Score will just basically be how far you are from the starting distance. Speed, well, it's your current speed in kilometers per hour because I'm European, okay? Uh -huh. Wow, at this point we have a finished game, except it's 
not. We don't have it in this game because there's no way to die. So I made it so you have 10 lives. Every time you bump into a cactus, you lose one life. When you bump into the low flying birds, you lose two lives. Oh, you're wondering how I make this awesome hut? Well, if you didn't know, I'm actually a professional pixel art artist. So I then added a boring you died screen because I couldn't think of anything better. And hey, while I was at it, I also added a replay button, but main menu button doesn't work though. Oh, and if you want to quit, you you can't, you, there's, there's no only ways alt plus f4. After that I also changed some post process settings and now it looks more retro type beat and I think that look is really like cool and fits the theme you know. Okay it's finally the part where I make models for this game. For cacti I thought I might just be able to find something great online. Yup, nope, I'll just make it myself. And all I have to do now is this because of my professional coding skills. Okay, never mind, so my problem, they are flying, which I think isn't supposed to happen because these aren't birds. I easily fix, uh... Look at that, it's way more beautiful now, except there's still cones, which I need to make into birds. So I just got this bird off the internet and made a flying animation for it in Blender. I also made it so it moves up and down in game and here it is in action, looks pretty good, I can't lie. So anyway, the game is done, but um, I also kind of want to upload it somewhere so it's not completely useless and I didn't make it for no reason. Anyway, this is the app where everyone uploads their games to, right? What? What? 100? Where the fuck am I supposed to get that from? Tell me, like tell me right now. Okay, look what I found, for free, yes, create, uh, account, oh, uh, username, gasp, of course. Now nah, who the fuck? Bro, this is an empty page, bro. Hey guys, if anyone knows how to hack a cop, I guess we'll use gasp for the four, it's okay. Bro. Okay, well, it is what it is, uh, password, I think I'll just use, welcome to itch.io. Oh, create new project, title, um, what dinosaurs are there? Uh, triceratops? People who haven't watched this will just have no idea why I named it after Dinosaur. <laughs> this is so funny. Upload a cover image. Uh, let me just take a screenshot. Uh, description. Uh, Triceratops. I think that says enough. What are you uploading? I don't know, something I probably shouldn't. Oh, never mind, it's an easy choice. A collection of music. Pricing. Oh, this is my favorite part. I'm joking, uh, it's obviously free. To play this game, you'll just have to basically download the zip file, then extract it, then run it then run the exe file and yeah as i said earlier there's no main menu so we just start going instantly oh and yeah the only supported platform is windows because uh, like everyone uses windows anyway right okay description uh wait didn't i have to put this in already uh, anyway triceratops tags a rock triceratops come on bruh custom noun triceratops okay it's successfully huh this triceratops is currently unavailable what do you mean triceratops is unavailable Oh, new devlog? Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, long form posts are blah blah blah. Culture, yeah. Yeah, I think that works. You're just supposed to talk about your process and how it relates to your top triceratops language. Uh, triceratops language? Oh, f doesn't work for some reason. Cover image? I'll just use the same one. <laughs> Amazing! Save! So um, yeah, if you'd like to get Triceratops, the link is in the description. I might do a part 2 if you guys want, where I'd add a bunch of shit like actual terrain. So it looks nice, and maybe some customizations, I mean more weapons, because I'm kind of not using the whole pack I bought, which makes me feel unproductive with my money. Anyway, join my Discord, which is linked in the description. I'll be doing like a leaderboard thing there. Basically, you'll need to send me a screenshot with your score, and I'll put it in the leaderboard manually for everyone to see how good you are. Top 3 will receive special roles, maybe, I don't really know yet, but you're on the discord anyway okay i need people in this all right i'll talk to you guys i promise so that's it for today uh please like and subscribe if you'd like youtube to recommend you more of my content when i upload i just started out my youtube journey not so long ago so hey if you'd like to come along you are more than welcome to thank you so much for watching till the end it genuinely means a lot and hey if you actually enjoyed this video click this one there's a high chance you'll enjoy that one too so hey thank you